Hey everyone, I want to go through two things in this video that may help you before you create your graphics using this teacher working condition survey data. And what I'm going to teach you is how to use conditional formatting to identify uh, areas of strength and maybe areas that you need some growth in. Okay, and having I'll do this two ways. The first way is just to take these percentages that we already have and to label them. And I'm going to create kind of an arbitrary cut point. I'm going to say if you're 60% and below, I'd like to see that in red. And if you're 85% and above, I'd like to see that in green. Okay. So it's just a quick way for us to visually see where are we below 60% and 60% and below, and where are we 85% and above. So to do that, first, I will just select all of these percentages, and I'm going to actually do all of the data. So I'm going to scroll down. Uh, and it's okay if it grabs everything. It'll just recognize numbers. Um, and what I'm going to do, having highlighted the data, is I'm going to uh, go to, and I've already got it pulled up. Let me go out so you can see. But it's going to be in format, conditional formatting, and it pulls up this bar. And you'll see it just kind of defaults to a single color, in this case, green. And what we want to do is just apply different rules to these data so that it's green if it's above 85 and it's red if uh, it's below 60 and below, okay? So to do that here, when it says format cells, if, if you just scroll down, you can do, let's do less than or equal to, and then it wants a value. Now these are percentages. So if I were to put 60 in here, uh, nothing would be highlighted um, because or everything would be highlighted because they're all less than one. It's between zero and one. So what I want to put here is 0.6, okay? And that's just going to highlight. And notice it's still sticking with green, but I wanted that to be in red. So I just changed my format color to red. And now we can see just in this preview that anything that's 60% and below has now been highlighted in red. And I can click done, okay? So I'm halfway there. I'm going to add one more rule, which is if my value is greater than or equal to 80. Now, if, again, I'm not going to put 80 in here, uh, but I'm going to put 0.8 because that is 80%. And I notice I don't have anything in this first column, but if I scroll down, I start to see that that's formatting correctly and I click done. Okay. So now I've got a nice area. You can see with time, I've got quite a bit of red, uh, not just here in Wolfpack Elementary, but in the district and other elementary schools and a bit in the state. And then I can scroll down and I can just start comparing and seeing areas where maybe Wolfpack's red and other district or state schools are green. Okay. So these are areas of strength, maybe some areas where I have some needed growth. Now, we also talked in class about how it might be interesting to look at the difference between my percentage and the percentage of the state or the district or other elementary schools, okay? So we're just gonna do a little math here in Excel. This is the second part. So if you're good with that, you can stop. But if you wanna learn a little bit more, we're gonna do some differences, okay? So I'm gonna do the difference between the district, all right, the difference with the, oh, no, excuse me, we'll start with the state. We'll go in the order. The difference of the district and then the difference of other elementary schools, okay? And so to get that, I'm gonna start with Wolfpack Elementary. So you hit an equal sign in, in Google Sheets or Excel. Equal means I want a formula in here. And I'm gonna click on this cell of Wolfpack Elementary, this first row, so that's F5. And I'm gonna subtract it from the state. So that's C5, okay? F5 minus C5. I'm going to hit enter and see I get a negative 20%. So that tells me that Wolfpack Elementary is 20% below the state, okay? And I could do the same thing for the district. Again, equal sign. And it's, it's already kind of, it, it's guessing, but it's guessing wrong what I want. But what I want is Wolfpack Elementary subtracting the district school, in this case, D5. And I get negative 9.3%. And then finally, we'll do it one more time, Wolfpack minus other elementary schools in the state, and it's also a 20%, okay? So I've done that just for this first indicator, but what I can do now is highlight those three, and you see this little blue box at the bottom. I can just drag that down, and notice it fills all those out, doing it now for each row, and it's doing the correct formula that I need. So it's it's kind of rotating based on... Uh, Wolfpack Elementary, okay? And then I can do that for 
all of my data. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this arrow and I'm just going to scroll down to the very bottom. I'm dragging it now. I'm holding and dragging until I get to the bottom here. Now, anytime there's uh, just words, it's, you know, the, it's not going to know how to compute that. So you'll get numbers, but we, we could go in and clean this up. But the idea is that now I have uh, all the differences across all my indicators. Okay. Which, you know, it's, it's quite helpful. It helps me start to see how I compare to the district and the state. Now, what I might want to do with these, and again, I'm just kind of cleaning these up as I move up. Um, what I might want to do with these is also use conditional formatting so that I can quickly find areas where I may, um, you know, be lower or higher based on these percentages. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to pause doing those values just for a second. So what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to select all these difference data. So I'm going to I'm going to grab G five through I five and scroll all the way down to the bottom again. And I'm going to apply a different set of conditionally format rules. In this case, we're going to think uh, if I'm negative 10%. So if I'm lower, if, if the difference between me, if I'm 10% or more below what the state or the district or the other elementary schools is, then I'm going to apply that in red. And if I'm higher, if I'm 10% or more higher, I'm going to apply that in green. So I can see red areas would be areas where there's a big difference, where I'm a lot lower, and green areas would be where I'm a lot higher. And I'm defining a lot by about 10% here, okay? So uh, what I'm going to do then is if you are less than or equal to negative 0.1, I want you to be in red and notice having done that anything that's 10 negative 10 percent or more gets highlighted in red and i'm going to click done and then i'll do the same thing here uh instead of less than or equal to though i'm going to do greater than or equal to 0.1 i want that to be highlighted in green so now having done that i can quickly scroll through and again i can clean some of these up but i can begin to see that there are areas where I uh, Wolfpack Elementary is greater than 10% uh, lower on this teachers have sufficient access to broad range of professional support personnel. So that might be an area that I, I've now highlighted in red, right? Something I can look for. Uh, there are other spaces down here where I'm consistently lower. Um, and we can go also though to those places where we are higher than in this case, the state or the district in certain indicators and scrolling through, we can see we're higher on this indicator, then they're encouraged to observe other teachers. So that might be something, a practice we're doing in our building, whereas this one, we are a lot low, lower around this idea of autonomy and just delivering instruction, okay? So again, these might not be tables you would uh, put in a presentation necessarily, but these could be uh, values that you're using to then create your bar charts, right? You can select now because you found a quick way to analyze these data, and to identify areas of strength and areas of weakness, uh, both just absolute, like where the numbers are, but also now in comparison to state schools, district schools, and other elementary schools. So I hope you found this helpful.